Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're going to get into some NHL action for March 27th, but before we do, I want to again invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games for March the 27th, as the NHL season is nearing a close. Every game is important for those looking for playoff positioning and to make sure you're playing your best hockey entering the playoffs. So let's take a look at some of these games. Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Islanders. Tampa Bay enters 5th in the Eastern Conference, while the Islanders are in the middle of the pack. Tampa Bay is ice cold down though at the moment. They have lost their last two and are just 2-4 and four over their last six. The Islanders are average up. They are coming off of a win, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see how Tampa Bay has dropped. They were plus 29 just a few days ago, and they have dipped to plus 19. And the Islanders were plus 15, they have dipped to plus 10. The score prediction has the Islanders by a 4-2 margin with a pretty high level of confidence in prediction of 71%. You can see as far as the over-under goes that Tampa Bay has been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six. And the same thing for the Islanders three out of their last six. The stability factor, how well the teams have been performing according to their favorite underdog status, you see that they've both been performing pretty consistently there. Tampa Bay at plus 20 and New York Islanders at plus 16. And they have shown an overall general upward trend as the season has gone along. The way I see this game is I think the Islanders will have enough at home to win. And I think it will be a tight game, but I would avoid betting the over-under. The Sabres and the Rangers. The Sabres enter the contest burning hot. They have won four out of their last six. And the Rangers are average status. They have won four out of their last six as well. Both teams, though, are in the bottom half of the conference and probably won't have any kind of playoff positioning. But they could play spoiler against some of the other teams as we get close to the end. We will see how that goes. But again, these two teams are just pretty much playing out the string. You can see that Buffalo is over the line in four out of their last six while Rangers are over the line in three out of their last six. The power ranking indicator will show you that the Rangers were at plus, 19, or plus 21 back on March 19th, and they're all the way up to plus 30, while Buffalo is at plus 10. The score predictor has the Rangers by a 4-2 score, but the confidence in prediction is only about 23%, a little under 23%. So take that with a grain of salt. Maybe, maybe look back as it gets closer to the game to see if that confidence has gone up. The volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been. You can see both have been pretty stable, plus 17 and plus 16. But notice they've been on a downward trend as far as that goes as well. Um, as far as the way the outcome of this game goes, I do believe that the Rangers at home will be the better bet. Probably by a couple of goals, and I think it will be a high-scoring game to bet over the line. Detroit and Pittsburgh, Colorado and Minnesota. This is the game that we really want to take a look at. Colorado takes their top record in the NHL to Minnesota to face the fourth seed in the Western Conference in the wild. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Avalanche have won their last four, and the Wild has won their last three. If you look at the over-under, though, only in five out of the last 12 games combined have the teams played in games over the line, so take that into consideration before you make your bet. And the score prediction has Minnesota by a 3-2 score, with about 69% level of confidence. Again, the line has not yet been set, so we don't know if a 3-2 score would go over or under, but take a look at that as it gets closer to game time. The power rankings indicator shows Colorado at plus 31, and Minnesota was at 15 just a week ago, and they have climbed up to plus 23. So a clear upward trend for Minnesota. Have the two teams been consistent? You would think so, and you will we'll see that they have been. Colorado at plus 28, and Minnesota at plus 16. Again, this means that they have been consistently performing uh, with respect to their favorite underdog status. Now, here's the thing with this game. I like Colorado if they are going to be a road favorite. We do not know yet what that's going to be, but since they've been very consistent, if they are a road favorite, I would go with Colorado. If they are not, then I would go with Minnesota, and but I would avoid the over-under in either case. The last game we want to look at is Florida and Toronto. 
Florida enters play tops in the Eastern Conference, and Toronto is sixth. So both are in great playoff position, and they will play. And who knows, they might even meet in the postseason at some point. Right now, the Panthers are average up. They have won their last, well, just their last game, and they are 4-2 over the last six. While the Maple Leafs are average down, coming off of a loss by a 63 score to Toronto. The score prediction has Toronto by a 3-2 margin of victory, with about 60% level of confidence. The power rankings indicator has Toronto at plus 19 just a week ago, and they're up to plus 28. And Florida, who was at uh, plus 30 on March the 17th, they're now down to plus 27. The stability factor, you can see both teams are in a pretty good position as far as that goes, at plus 21 for Florida. And Toronto is at plus OMB. You see, they have been, Toronto's actually been uh, hovering around 11 to 14, 15, you know, going back to, going back to the last two months. So they really haven't been very consistent lately with regards to their favorite underdog status to take that into consideration. I do like Toronto at home, though, in this one. I think they will win the game. Uh, by a goal, I don't think it'll be more than that. I think it'll be a one goal margin in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NHL from March 27th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.